this guy's flying over here. Are you about to hunt down those dinosaurs? Look at them! Are you either watching them, are you taking care of them, or are you gonna hunt them down? You want that little small newt, don't you? Oh! <gasps> Is this a dodo? You're not a dodo. You're you're like the coolest looking dinosaur creature, monster. I don't know what you are, man, but you look really cool. I'm so happy right now. Look at it! Yes, we have a giant dino! My very first giant dino! What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Birthdays The Beginning. I'm your host, The Bird, known as Falcon. So we're doing another video on this because you guys seem to really enjoy the first one. Um, here today, I'm going to be focusing on dinosaurs. As you can see, I've made some progress off camera here just because we had a lot of sea life. We had a lot of plants that we had to kind of give birth to, which we have. But today I wanted to focus on some animals and some creatures on the land because it's been a little bit barren of life over here. We have plenty of life down here below, you know what I'm saying? But I think it's time for a couple of dinosaurs. So as always, if you're enjoying this, want to see some more, you let me know in the comments, you let me know by leaving a like. Right now, I do have a bit of a surprise for us. Number one, I need to capture a couple of these creatures here. But before I do that, let me show you guys our little dinosaur friend. Our very first one around over here he is. You see him? He's a little bit shy. Look at him, just scattering away. No, Fowl's gonna see me with the camera. How you doing, buddy? Oh, look at this guy. He's so smug. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, nice, nice meal, huh? Can you tell me where you got that meal from, as a matter of fact? Because that looks like a really big, juicy piece of meat. And let's be honest here, I don't see any really big, juicy, meaty creatures around here for you to eat. Oh, well, either way. Let's come over here first and foremost and capture our friend if we can. Find out some information about this fella right here. This is our very first land creature, by the way. This is going to be the Ictiostega. Ictio, Ictiostega. Oh, God. The pronunciation of these words, I'm aware. I'm aware. Pretty bad. Uh, let's see. This is going to be Ascolacanthus Flourish. This amphibian was the first to set foot on land. There you go. So that's him right here. Now, mind you... Let me go ahead and swift my map a bit around. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff that I have to actually capture. So before we focus on the next dinosaur, let me go ahead and grab a couple of these creatures over here before they possibly go extinct. Well, not really creatures, it's a plant. We have a red fern, okay. Here we go. Is that a starfish? No, it's not a starfish. I think it's an evolved fish, if I'm right. Yeah, this is the... Ancon totis, okay? A saltwater fish that is adapted to cooler water temperature. It appeared as Colacanthus begin to flourish in the deep sea. Excellent. So as you can see over here, I've raised the land a little bit. I've got a couple of rivers and waterfalls, which look pretty. And they also give life to certain type of animals and creatures and plants and all that stuff over here. But that's kind of what I've done. I also had a while I had snow, but snow has apparently dissipated after a while. I suppose the temperature really isn't really too proper for snow just yet, but that's something we'll probably start focusing on here pretty soon. Okay, so with this done, we need to go ahead and create ourselves a Dematrodon. So if I'm correct, you're the evolution of this fellow right here, so how about we speed this process up a little bit? Bring up our items here, and no, don't, don't skitter scatter away. Don't you dare do it. I want to evolve you, okay? This is like giving a, a Pikachu a thunderstorm right now. He doesn't want it. It's like, no, no, I don't want to be a Raichu. It's kind of like, why don't you want to be a Raichu, dude? Raichu's pretty cool. And let's see what this gives us life to. We have the Bellflower. Okay. I have not acquired a Bellflower before, which is pretty interesting. So let's actually get in here really quickly. Where is this Bellflower at? Apparently somewhere over here. There it is. Okay. You're not exactly the dino I was looking for, but I guess we'll get to it eventually. This is going to be the bellflower, a short bell-shaped flower. It's a, it's apparently a bell sprout. <laughs> I'm telling you, the Pokemon references are off the charts here with this game. So we got this over here. Let me pick up a couple more items if we can. Good. Come on. Okay. My friend, I was, uh, you were supposed to help me evolve you with that stone I just dropped on you. We're looking for 25 degrees lowlands, huh? So it might just be, and the, the, the moisture is fine. That's definitely fine. Oh, we need a lot more of you guys. Ah, uh, aha. Uh -huh. I mean, I was hoping that just giving you the stone would have done it, but no, we need a couple more of those bad boys. As a matter of fact, quite a bit more. They have to flourish quite a bit for that. What I could do to kind of speed up the process, though, is actually make our lands a bit higher so that we have more... Wa um, It's cooler for us, too. Oh, but no, 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 no. Opposite direction, Falcon. We're going up for this one. Okay. So we'll do something like that. 
And I'm trying not to ruin the integrity of my mountains to some degree here. So we'll do something like that too. We're at 27. Okay. And maybe a bit more through here. I don't want to necessarily level them up to the same, because I do want to have, you know, a little bit of differences to the mountains. Mountains aren't completely flat, you know, then it stops being a mountain. What do we have here? Excuse me. Hey, thank you very much for that. Where's he at now? He's at 55. There it is, guys, we got it. I guess it was meant to be. I wonder what would happen if the environment changed drastically. The birth of dinosaurs is nearly here. They're pretty similar to reptiles, so you need to birth an Eoraptor. It's a two-legged dinosaur that emerged after the Demetrion when the climate got a lot hotter. It seems Eoraptor hunted in packs, too. You'll need to raise the temperature to burn one. Refer to the game information, yeah, yeah. You don't tell me about no game information, my friend. I'll figure it out just by being a mad scientist alone. Hey, there he is! <laughs> Look at these guys just hanging out together. How you guys doing? Just hanging out? Yeah. You take care of the little small guy, okay? Don't you dare eat him. You, you guys are linked to some way or another. He evolved from you, so don't you dare eat him. Let's capture you while we're at it as well. Gotta get some HP back, hopefully we can level up too. If not, we'll use a couple of items here. There it is. The first reptile that lives on land in cool climates. Unlike the Ikeotescaga, it moves to lands that have little water. So you're looking for little water. Well, you're actually quite surrounded by a little water there, my friend. So you might want to move somewhere over here is what I would say. Okay. Well, with that done, let's come over here. Let's actually link the land a little bit if we can. So how about we do something like... Uh, Let's see, something like that's fine. We want to go up a bit. And then we could do... Boom. 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 I want to give him access to the land over here as well, so he can get his ass over here. Okay. So hopefully with this we should be fine. Let me go ahead and get rid of the, the chill stone over here. Technically speaking, I believe we could probably place that bad boy somewhere over here. This would be a really good place for the raptors, I would say. So let's go to the items and... Use the warm stone over here if we can. There it is. That'll give us at least uh, 10 more degrees. And that should just about do it. Let's get on out of here really quickly. Oh, let me pick up this item here really quickly. Come on. Where's the item at? Item. There it is. Let's get out of here. Okay, so this technically should give us the Eoraptor. There it is, guys. The Eoraptor. Ha <laughs> ha. Finally, it's born. Happy birthday. At least the world of dinosaurs I dreamed of. You can either capture it and return to your world, or you can enjoy this world a little longer. So we're gonna capture it because obviously once we get this done, we jump to a new chapter, which means a bigger cube for us to mess around with. So, let's get back into the land over here. And let's go take a look at our raptors if we can. Where are they at? Raptors? Oh, there he is! Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in. Where is he at? Excuse me. Hi, so. Oh, oh, are you? Excuse me. My friend, you're supposed to- There he is! How you doing, buddy? Ah, oh, look at this little first dinosaur here. He's a little raptor. He's got little small raptor arms, so like a T-Rex. Will you eventually evolve into a T-Rex? You probably should. He got the small little arms for it, too. He doesn't lift at all, you know? He's just a big leg guy. That's what his thing is all about. So let's go ahead and capture you. Hopefully this levels me up. I would like to get some more HP for some future stuff here. No, no level up. Uh, the first dinosaur. It appeared in hot climates after the propagation of its prey, the Demetrodon. It stands on two legs and hunts in packs. Oh, there's our level up. Excellent. But we should have this over here. We also got a global warming item, <laughs> of all things. So we might be causing global warming here ourselves. We might be the, the propagators of global warming all the way back here. So if you got to blame anybody, you blame Berthy's the beginning for global warming. Mm, that might be underground as well. What about the other one? Could be up in the skies too. I don't see it. Ah, well, it'll show up eventually, right? Alright, cool. So let's see here. What's next? Use global warming. <laughs> okay. Well, it's quite the item for us to use. Bring this up. Where's global warming at? I didn't- I wasn't aware that global warming was just an item. Apparently it is. That's how it all started. Global cooling and global warming. Permanently raise the average temperature in the cube. It may appear when a lot of snow covers the cube. Oh, it just may appear? So, technically speaking, I could do it myself, huh? Oh well, let's just glo use global warming now. Ooh! It just went up by one Celsius, though. Global warming and cooling are useful when you want to change the temperature without changing the terrain. Ah! Alright, the stage is set. Time to bring out the star of the show. Tyrannosaurus! This life form is said to be the supreme dinosaur. You will need to protect 
you need the perfect temperature and ideal location and a plentiful food source. Refer to the game information. Right, right. Okay. So the Tyrannosaur is here, huh? 46 Celsius. A moisture of 4 to 70. Uh, we're going to probably have to drop the moisture quite a bit. Uh, a minimum of 37,000 Velociraptors, which we don't have any at the moment, and we a minimum of the Pleosaurus. So we have a lot to do before we actually get to the Tyrannosaurus. We can't just jump straight up to it. So let's go over to our game description here. And not that, library. Let's look at our tree here. So the dinosaurs, I believe, are somewhere around to the edge. Okay, so we need a Velociraptor and the other one too. Now the raptors are down over here. You, I, I, we're obviously going to need him, and then here is the Tyrannosaurus Rex, right? So this right here might be the Velociraptor, to be honest with you, meaning we could probably evolve you. Let's see here. A dinosaur that became larger and faster than the Eoraptor, allowing it to hunt for prey with increased ferocity. So you're looking for 39 and 49, so we obviously have to go a lot warmer. That's for a fact. Right now we're at 31, huh? Hmm. Well... If that's the case, let's start doing a little bit of digging around here. Help the land without using too many of my global warmings, I suppose. Um, am I doing a small little square? Oh, up, up, up. we need a small square for this one. Because I want to set up a a river source, a little bit of a stream to connect to that one over there. So if I come down here now, and there it is, there's my river source right here. We'll use this right on this side, okay. And now we bring river fall like so. And this will be so we have some vegetation and stuff like that. Because right now over here it is quite, quite dry. And we don't want that, we don't want any dryness over here. It's going to keep going down this way, huh? Well, we'll leave it like this for now. At least we have a little bit of a connection. So we're at 41 Celsius. Let's go over here and now speed up time, I want to say. And let we need... What do we need? We need 37,000 Velociraptors and 28,000 Pleosaurus. So let's speed up time here. Let's see if they can do it themselves. Otherwise, we might get involved. The Eoraptor is going up, which is fine. Let's keep an eye as well as we're creating anything else. Anything new? The Bellflower is on the verge of extinction. Yeah, it's to happen. It's going to probably happen. So the Velociraptors are going up, so they're thriving in this atmosphere, at least. There we go. We got the Paramasultraton. You are a reptilian of some kind. Let's go find out who you are. You're a reptile people or whatever. Have I done that? Reptile people. Reptile. That's not, I don't think it's actually crab people. But this fella should be somewhere around here. Oh, there he is. Look at him. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Just hanging out. Watch out with the Velociraptor over there. Not really the Velociraptor. He's the Eoraptor. The Paramisotrian. Okay. The spot-tailed warty newt is adapted for increased temperatures. It appears as the, Eor the Eoraptor begin to increase in number. Ah. So you come from those fellows too, don't you? Okay. Any items for us to gather here meanwhile as I roam the lands? Item right there. Come yeah, on. Another item there. Another item there. What about through here? I see you guys. I'm gonna need you. Come with me. Move we? Move we? Okay. As you can see, we're extending a little bit in the land here, but it's still very dry. So we definitely have to increase the greener to some degree. But over here, there you go. You see that? It's now slowly spreading. So technically speaking, what I could do is extend the water down this way as well. Because we have dropped a bit in temperature as well. But uh, let's see. Let's go check out our friend, the Eoraptor. And how about we drop a little stone on his ass here, huh? Hey, buddy. How you feel about this uh, seed of evolution? How about a mutation one? Do you want a mutation one? We can try mutating and see what happens. Why not? Let's get experimental here. Dropping mutation one on you. And let's see. Where's, where's my other life fad? Fellas, there you go. Where's your um, finned friend at? There's his finned friend. I want to go ahead and drop maybe evolution on him, or should we go mutation? Eh, let's go mutation as well. So we have at least two creatures over here primed for mutation. Let's see what happens with it. Uh-oh. I think we, we birthed something and then it went extinct instantly. So the temperature wasn't really quite right for it. 
Look guys, it's a little raptor dude! Who are you? You're the Parkyo Raptor. Okay, so you like it warm as well, no surprise there. An eel raptor lives in hot, dry regions. Ah, is that right? So technically speaking, I can... I should make it a bit warmer for you over here so you could flourish a bit, huh? It doesn't seem like there's enough life out here. You might die, buddy. What's your population like? 441? Yeah. I think I need to extend some land for you. Because otherwise, you're not going to make it out there by yourself. There's just not enough vegetation to keep you alive. Let's see if I can just quickly bring some water towards you. In hopes of um, some thriving for you. I might even warm it up for you. How about that? Let's use the... We do have a couple of the global warmings as well. I guess we could probably use those. Okay. So hopefully the water should spread a little bit of life out here for that fella to flourish. This probably came from the mutation seed that we dropped in that dude. Okay, so that's that. A couple more items for us. Great. Uh, let's see. We have the warm stone over here too, right? Well, technically speaking, what I could do as well is, let's see. Let's make um, soil moisture would be nice, huh? Especially for that guy. Let's drop the large rain cloud here. Let's go ahead and use global warming on the entire map. Okay, we're at 46 now. There we go. Okay, so we're at 48 now. It's getting kind of hot there for you, huh, guys? Let's see how this works out for us. Uh-oh. We just gave birth to a lot of stuff. Stop. Stop, game. A lot of things just... Stop it. <laughs> just stop, game. Stop. I want to get over there. There's a, there's a lot of life now. There is a ton of life over... Oh, my God! We got our very first flying dude! Yes! I don't care about that right now. Look! We have a, a pterodactyl of some kind. It's not really a probably pterodactyl, but it's a variety of it. This guy's flying over here. Are you about to hunt down those dinosaurs? Look at them! Are you either watching them, are you taking care of them, or are you gonna hunt them down? You want that little small newt, don't you? Oh, you just flew away. Hi, right, buddy. I'll see you later. <laughs> okay, let's um get out of the first person vote here. And let's capture my little flying friend. Excuse me, my flying friend. I need to capture you, okay? I need to find out about you. Who are you supposed to be? Tell me your details. Give me your digits, baby. You're the... Oh, wow, your rarity's pretty high, too. You're the Edumorphodon, a reptile that evolved wings and powered flight. It appears this eagle raptor has propagated into land. Oh, cool, so the eagle raptor, or the eel raptor, has helped you out. Not eagle raptor, we're not talking about game grubs here. And... Oh! <gasps> Is this a dodo? You're not a dodo. You're, you're like the coolest looking dinosaur creature, monster, I don't know what you are, man, but you look really cool. I, I kind of want to call you Toucan Sam a little bit, huh? Would you like that, Toucan? <laughs> Who are you supposed to be? You look really baller, though. What are you supposed to be? Oh, <gasps> it's the Velociraptor! I wasn't aware the Velociraptors had those colors, though. Jurassic Park lied to me. A dinosaur that became larger and faster than the eel raptor, allowing it to hunt for prey with increased ferocity. How about that? All right, we <gasps> I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. Look at it! Yes, we have a giant dino! My very first giant dino! You might be needed for the raptor, huh? The Tyrannosaurus? He doesn't probably have to eat you at some point. But let's capture you for now. Oh, this is awesome. This is getting really cool now. The Brachiosaurus! That one I actually did know. A dinosaur that appeared as the Pterodondon propagated. It maintains its enormous size by consuming plants that thrive in very hot climates. Hey, my friend, we have hot climates and we have a ton of plants for you, so have at it, huh? What else do we have that's new here? We have a lot- Oh! Hey! Wow, who are you supposed to be? You're like a, a black reptile. As opposed to the green reptile from Mortal Kombat. You're the Ichiotomimus. You're like an, uh, a mutation of some kind. Uh, that migrated away from the shore to live in freshwater regions and mainly feeds on organisms that live in the river. Well, you are in the river, my friend, that's for sure. You're just a bit high up there. How are you gonna feed yourself up there, you know? Have you considered that question there? How am I gonna feed myself over here alone? Okay. I'll let you have added. What else do we have here? Ecosidium, okay. And that's- oh no, we have one more new creature over here in the water. Oh! <gasps> Guys! We, we created Lapras! It's Lapras! Hey, buddy! Are you gonna use Ice Beam on my ass or what? Yeah! 
<laughs> okay, capture you. Oh man, this is a great episode. We got a lot of dinosaurs. We haven't got the T-Rex yet, but man, have we made some progress here, huh? The Pleosaurus. A long-necked dinosaur that appeared as the Eoraptor and Stegosaurus were propagating. It preys on fish in very hot seas. Oh, so you want hot seas, huh? I'm gonna probably... Well, it's already kind of... Yeah, it's pretty good. We're in the sea levels here for you. I could lower it down a bit more if you want and make it a bit warmer. All right, excellent. All right, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. I'm gonna go ahead and collect a couple of items here and kind of plan our next move. But as always, if you're enjoying it, let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a like. And we shall cover more of this going forward. Now that we have dinos, oh man, things are getting a lot more fun. I will catch you next time.